I called it because I didn't want to get some copyright shit going. Lost, lost, lost. Pete's having flashbacks to his childhood right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. What is this? Actually, I called it Dino World, but either way. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta get a different card. And you get to find out what the tech level is here, too. Happy days. Ooh. The tarot cards are still on you, but have been forgotten about. Be sure to add them to your inventory and stuff. Your personal. Well, inventory. we decided we needed to. Hop Shit. I got a reroll. No problem. <laughs> you guys are in some weird, hellish world and stuff like that. Uh, there's up ahead, you, you see like some giant robot thing that's shooting down other flying cars and stuff. And then it grabs them and eats the the car. Big metal robot of some sort. I just fail. Oh. All right. Well, you continue driving along through uh, the skyways and byways of Wisconsin. Pete, it's your turn to attempt to take it over. It appears that you're just fucked. You're going to have to spend a day here. At that point, you guys notice that you seem to be being tailed by a black flying car. It's in the distance. Uh, I can full retrieve the reroll if you guys want. No, nah, I keep the full retrieve. I'll spend a hero point and reroll. Ah, damn, damn and blast! That Logan happens. You fun. can do it. Mm. I believe in you. Can reduce mm. my hero points by one. He believes in you. That's worth something. Come on. No. Uh, damn it. Sorry, it looks like uh, the black card in the back mirror is slowly getting closer and stuff. I have a reroll. Shit. Right. <laughs> Go for it. I'll toss it and just give me the card. Oh, you're not going to do it on yourself? Can I reroll Logan or no? Yeah, sure. You haven't rolled anything else since. You haven't rolled since, so okay. yeah, it's Jimmy good. Yeah, I'm easy on that. Come on, you fucker. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Saying, come on, you fucker, and uh, punch <laughs> him in the back of the head repeatedly seems to help. That seems about right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop fucking around. <laughs> no problem. Give me a luck roll, Chris. I'm curious to see where you end up in the thing of Pete. And of the loss, the loss, loss. Negative 30. Fuck. All right. You guys uh, settle down in uh, the... Let's see. Hold on a second. Right. You are near the watering hole, still in the jungle. Do, do, do. You, you notice that the buildings became more and more green, and eventually the buildings were gone, the green remained, and eventually you pull up and you're at the watering hole and shit. You know, after a couple hours, uh, you're pretty sure you shook whoever the fuck was following you, at least for a little while. And you know that continuing to head that away will get you to the bad guy base of death. Now, the phone itself. It is made of apparently Bakelite, like all the old yeah. phones that we're all old like enough, unfortunately, to remember. Dropping it might cause it to break. Pardon? Dropping it might cause it to break. Correct. But there is, if you want to do what I think you want to do, they'll just require some especially fancy flying from the doc, who seems to be pretty good at flying a car after a lot of fucking hard work. It may be his fucking money shot if yeah. he's doing what I think he's going to do. Out of curiosity, the entrance to the cave on the high bluff, which is right next to where we are. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Is it big enough to fly the flying car in if we needed to quickly hide? Uh, it may definitely scrape the paint. Getting in there will not be a fly roll at full, but... I mean, technically it's big enough, but in practicality, no. I'm just thinking if we need to bug and hide somewhere quickly. It's possible. That's a brilliant thought. It is definitely possible, but Chris will oh. not be happy making that What roll. about the cave behind the waterfall that has the gate in it? How big is that cave that Doc climbed up the waterfall? Um, 
technically big enough, but you would be flying through enough water that it will like, uh, it's kind of water flow that will uh, quickly drag a pickup away. So again, that'd be a very tricky flying roll, but mm -hmm. I will say that that'd be an even better hiding place because only a crazy person would drive into a waterfall to hide. All right. Just keep that in mind, Doc, as to potential it's a brilliant locations uh, for us to so book we can fly to into that, and we can fly into the, the waterfall and end up in the sewers with a flying car. <laughs> um, is that where? The, is that where? No, 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 no. The waterfall. No, the remember, remember, you you climbed up. You climbed up. It was treacherous to climb up. There was a big tunnel behind the waterfall. Yeah. There was. We worked out there was a gate halfway in, and the tunnel comes out through a waterfall somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We don't know where. We've never checked out where it comes out. Mm -hmm. We just know it's another jungle. We don't know what zone it is. Could be a new oh. zone that we've never been to. Um, but yeah, yeah, Corey, Corey is definitely a clever bitch. But don't <laughs> tell him I said that. So. <laughs> Got to torture him some more first. Oh yeah. Oh, I still remember we we pretty much broke him mentally when we were gaming back at these swamp house days and shit because there yeah, was some yeah. odd where. Uh, like is a cyberpunk thing and there's a bunch of different bad guys and everybody's trying to get this this woman who's like a sim sense uh actress and and so i started a romantic subplot with Corey, and he's he's into it and stuff and everybody's doing this great role play and then they, they finally get over and all these different powerful groups are like give us the girl and Corey's like never and they're like here you go <laughs> <They're first. laughs> and you can just tell a part of him died right yes. then I'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, i wish i had that on film just that little <laughs> watching watching innocence just fucking crumble i was like i was so proud so proud <laughs> he's undergone a lot of sanity loss in my games actually now that i think back to it <laughs> real life sanity loss as opposed to he's oh yeah oh yeah i'm not even not even talking about the end games yeah, yeah, yeah. although did i ever tell you about the best real life sanity loss that caused my maybe was, i don't know is the mod with the wheelchair? No, I don't. Can't some haunted it. house, and there's this wheelchair, and so I made it some guy's personal nemesis. Like he he would go running out of a door, and somebody left it carelessly in the hallway, trip over it. You know, uh, he was standing looking down the stairs, and he'd come up behind him and swoop in, and then they clatter down the stairs, and he'd be all injured and stuff. So then um, I was just having fun, right? I had no idea. Mm -hmm. He goes home, and it was a, kind of a little bit of a scary, tense module and stuff. Mm -hmm. He goes home. He goes into his back door. He trips over his sister's wheelchair because she had, like, MS or something. And according to the other guys, he just started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> never gamed with him again. Never saw him again. Never talked to him again. He was out. He was done. <laughs> I was like, that's a fucking win for a Call of Cthulhu mod. If you can cause somebody enough real life sanity loss where they just, I'm out. It was evil. Let me see if you remember that. He might. Hey, Chris, you remember that guy I tormented with the wheelchair and they tripped over his sisters and started screaming? Do you remember that? Were you around for that? With his sisters? His sister had like MS or something. He was just some dude who gamed with us once. And he oh, yes. Did. His sister played for a while, though, didn't Like, I remember. Did she? I don't even remember, dude. Oh, yeah. She played more than once. She was okay. around for a bit. But I think, uh, the, was it the brother? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He, he, was, he, was he didn't out. like us. Like, she, she, she liked us and she had fun playing with us, but he didn't. Hmm. And he didn't fit in. Yeah. Well, so, I think I broke him, though, with that mod. That was my memory of it. I could be wrong. Yeah. And Trump's declared a national emergency to get the wall, wall built. He's scheduling a national emergency because that's how... No, it no, 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 no. Works. He's called it. He oh, called really? It yes. He declares a national emergency about an hour ago. You know, Trump doesn't bother me as much as the stupid people elected him. Mm. Hello. Ah, Corey's back. Excellent. All right. So, you guys are, are ready. Hopefully, you've got some good plans, fallback positions, strategies, all that shit ready to go. Good luck. So, we go towards uh, the base. 
Well, uh, the reason that you're that the uh, watering hole is good is, is uh, if you remember, there's a big cleared area around the base, like very, very big cleared area, like get a high powered sniper rifle and allow for the Coriolis effect type big. Uh-huh. So uh, pretty much as soon as you go out of the jungle, you're pretty sure that even the dumbest of guards, and they have a lot of the semi-human guards and stuff, we're all carefully wrapped up so the special effects department doesn't have to uh, make a whole bunch of new monsters and shit, uh, will probably spot your ass in a flying car. It's pretty fucking obvious. So we were going to do a big sneak up? Well, even at, like it does, like, but we can... You're not even sure how you would sneak across, uh, I mean, unless you tunneled, but that'd take a long time. And you just don't have that kind of time because you're not, you're thinking you probably got about 20 minutes left until bad guys show up, like agents. So if we track their attention, if we leave the phone here and attract their attention to here and then book it away. And then lure them to the. Yeah. That was my whole thing. It was like luring the uh, agents to. I just mean, but if we lure the lure the people from the base to this location, and the agents come here as well because we leave the phone here, then they start fighting, and then it'll spread. Does the car no, I think have we need, an I think we need to... pilot? I mean, could your cruise control it over the base? Huh? Is there cruise control in here? Yeah, it's possible, but um, it's, if it if it starts getting shot and stuff, it's obviously going to throw off the trajectory and all that stuff. And you're guessing that you know uh, there there's a lot of dino power here in the jungle. We use dinosaur power. So you guys hover in the jungle just how outside. Tall is the dome. Uh, dome? You mean well, the? It, isn't it dome? like a big cage or whatever? Like I, I, I'm not. I guess I don't understand how you've described this. Ah, okay. Just imagine uh, one, two. Okay, imagine uh, three big buildings and a big dinosaur breeding area. Okay. You know, for pens and stuff, and it's three big buildings, nice flat tops. There's no dome. I'm not sure what that is. You might be talking about the big gate that's like past this like kilometer diameter but that's a ways the away from that. oh, yeah, the, the one with the clothes yeah yeah that's what i thought i thought that like they were building that inside of their base no no that's over there for some reason it's past it mm -hmm. so it's oh, just Anybody who doesn't have dinosaur maxed out, could you please make a sand roll as you see plenty? In fact, you've never gotten to see a T-Rex fuck a stegosaurus before, but you're seeing it. It's zero if you make it, D6 if you fail, max of 12. Come on, D6, really? Mm -hmm. dinosaur? I saw Jurassic Park, motherfucker. I'm going to come up. Everything's so real. It's zero if you make it. See, you made it zero. Everything's fine. You, you, McKay, it looks like he's hard, really hard and tight toward dinosaurs, though. He just looks at him, and you can see old Vietnam flashbacks are playing out in his eyes. I'm actually one point off maxing out dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So even if I failed it, I'd only lose one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a rough, rough. Uh, your sanity really climbed since then, though. Yeah. Well, it was that that whole. Um, what was it? The the whole vision that we had when we started this season. Yep. That's what screwed me over. Yep. Uh, best vision ever. <coughs> so. Old friends and new. I mean, even if they shoot the car down, <clears throat> it'll still get close enough that the agents will come See, out to it, right? Right. Now, another thing, though, is like, so how tall are the buildings? Uh, probably three to four stories, flat top, uh, bars, windows, all that kind of stuff. And we've they seen look... him coming out of one of the buildings specifically? Uh, yes, the middle building, not the operating area, not the uh, uh, science shit area, but the middle building. The dino breeding area? Or... 
No, that's that's like a big that's a separate again. Like, okay. Yeah, it's a very separate area. Like honestly, like what one of the things I was thinking of doing is like I could always like fly up, drop you guys off, and then go toward and then fly toward like fly over the wall towards the middle building, leaping out, becoming Mecha Doc, and uh, creating <laughs> chaos upon them all. Is this before or after we get the agents to turn up? Mm, that is a dangerous strategy here because the good it's Mechadoc's great for a single target thing. Mechadoc's bad if you have like multiple di you ever seen King Kong? Yeah, Imagine yeah. You've got biplanes, pterodactyls, lasers. True. Because every creature deserves a hot meal. I mean I could even drop us like I could even like fly like what happens if I come real high and then come straight down on the middle building? Like do they really have defenses looking straight up? You're not really sure. Uh, most of their defenses seem to be, give me tactics rolls, and if you fail that, give it a shot on electronics at half. Can I use SWAT tactics? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've, nah. uh, so if, I've got I've, military tactics. There, there's, they don't have a big door to kick down, so clearly that wouldn't work. <laughs> I make my military tactics by half. Holy shit. Wow. Everybody, so the other two are end. looking at it going, hmm, and Fulton's like, where's the big door? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, you, what you two think is that all of their defenses seem predicated on the fact, because they do have pterodactyls that can fly around and shit, and do. So they kind of, they're thinking, they have the air covered. Everything else is predicated on a ground force. Yeah. As I stated some other time when some other people were here, and I'm not sure if any of you were them or not, but they checked it out. All right. So we could come in high and do the whole drop drop in, lip, do, do a fast descent, deposit the phone, and then book the puck out of here at high speed. All right, hold on. I'll be I'm right assuming back. this. I'm assuming the flying vehicle Logan will move a lot faster than the pterodactyls will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. If you put Puts what he what he's doing the, the fast descent is the most dangerous part, but the get the fuck out that that yeah. part's much safer. It's basically, a quick a fast descent. Here, have a phone. And then whoa! Oh yeah, just leave the phone on the building. Yeah. Yes, pretty much. That, it, it, that was a little different than the way I thought, which is like fly at the building, turn on the side, have while you guys lean out the window, put it down. <laughs> well, it was something like that, but right, it's close. Like it, it, yeah, but it's that thing of getting in and it, just doing the whole thing, zoom in and out. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it'll rely on it. it it'll, it'll be a lower is better uh, drive flying car, but he is pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah. So we do it. Pardon? I mean, I'm saying that's what we do. I, I'm, I'm all for yeah, that. Yeah, we'll need we to wait for that. the doctor to come back to actually. Obviously, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, my focal points. Corey's yes, we do it, Logan. We, we get it done, then we sit back and watch the. Oh, the, the only other thing I was thinking, I'll see where what Doc's thoughts on it. I don't know what your thoughts on it is. As we're going in, actually pick up the phone and say, "Help! Help! We're getting attacked by dinosaurs with lasers attached to them." I don't understand. This shouldn't be. They shouldn't be like this. And then, ah, and hang up the phone and. Now repeat uh, your, your summary to Doc. Basically, we do the because because the because they're relying on the pterodactyls and because you because the flying car is a lot faster and possibly even, I don't know if it'll be more maneuverable than than the pterodactyls, but certainly a lot faster. We come in we come in fast and hot. We drop the phone off. We book out of there hot, fast and hot. Well, I was also thinking we could also like we could we could come in fast like that, drop off the phone, like you could like make the phone call, like pick up the phone, be like hi, and just like talk some shit, and then toss the phone on the ground. It's pretty um, much what I said when you walk when you weren't here. Is I pick up the phone and say, "There's dinosaurs with lasers attached to it. What the fuck?" Fly up. We could get on top of the building and then make our way down to get to the general. I, I suppose we want to. We probably don't want to hit the building of the general until there's been enough time for the 
agents to start multiplying to draw off their forces. Because if we hit it before the before the agents start turning up, we might be in a world of hurt. We got okay. Then what we what see the problem is what happens if there's a gate inside a small gate inside one of the buildings? And he books it. Yeah, that's true. That that is. Which is well, why I figure we get to the top and then go down. You know, fight our way down. Because they're not going to know. Like if, if communicators don't work very well here because it's tech, I, I don't know. Um, it depends. Like I, I still think that would be our best because the the agents will keep showing up, and even if yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like dinosaurs are going to come and attack inside the small building. The only thing is, we're, we're going to have the same issue. Then is that we need to get away. We'll we'll have to get away from the agents because the agents will attack us as likely as attack anybody else. Except we'll be ignoring the agents, whereas the the others will see the agents as an invading force. Oh sure. Oh definitely. So. What do you reckon, Dr. Steve? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I I don't know how tough the forces are, but I mean, we're on a limited time schedule, so I'm down. Fight our way down and see if we can get them. With your, with your guys' amazing tactics role, um, I will say this. Consider more closely how the agents initially arrive. And you've got yeah. less than 10 minutes left before they start arriving on their own anyway. Well, see, that's why I think that we should lure them to the base for, yeah. like, also. Because if they're going to arrive, we might as well just wait for them to arrive here and then lure them. Because we have, because I'm, I'm thinking they're going to show up on some dinosaurs at this point. They're going to ride in a couple of them on some big black dinosaurs. Yeah, or some pterodactyls with the... Um... Illuminati symbol on their chests or something. Right, and then we can fly on, we can fly them over. And I think at that point they're gonna... Like, I think that they will go for the bigger thing that fucks with the zone. Possibly. I don't know how they work. But to they, me... They seem to go for, from, from our other experiences that we've witnessed them, for example, the recording at uh, Red Carpet... They were indiscriminate. They just went for everything. From well, memory you, of that long time ago. Yeah, they Sorry. might go for you. That might be a thing. Go for you and then come back and deal with this later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking we don't wait. We we set it up so that they head there and they don't know us. Fly in, drop off the phone, yeah. and mm -hmm. then go. Because mm -hmm. we could fly, oh, so we could also fly over one of the other buildings, drop off the phone, and go. And then they'll come for where the phone is, see what's going on, and then just kind of havoc. Yeah, yeah. Start to slowly yeah that's right. Too. That's right. And then they'll start multiplying. I and mean, then it'll watch. take a little bit to build up. Yeah, we'll watch, see what's happening, and then attack. <laughs> yeah, you do that. that. Yes, I think we do that. And that way, also, because Mr. Forearms may, may make a book for it towards the like the other gates if that's their primary gates is a big one and the burlington one we need to be ready to pounce if he tries to retreat to one of them well when you gtfo you can go and get midpoint between the big fucking gate and the yeah we could so we can yeah, that's right, that's right. yeah 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 okay yeah. so chris i'm gonna make it easy on you not multiple driving rolls just one and a half and then you guys are pretty much skidding in there dropping the phone off neatly on the roof with the receiver off of the cradle and then busting ass over to screaming uh, dinosaurs with lasers. Sure. You scream random shit at them as the car goes. I mean, so that, so it goes over oh, yeah. the receiver. Oh, you're, you're pretty sure that, you know, yeah. yeah. Just, so, just, just, just to reinforce it. And then, uh, and then, uh, assuming you want to not be seen by either side, uh, you're going to have to go in the jungle, probably do a big loop to lose anybody who's chasing you because, as Pete pointed out, the car is a lot faster than pterodactyls. Yeah. And then you'll need to camouflage the car in the jungle and wait and watch a little bit if you're that's your plan. Yeah, well, I, I think we could yeah. just, like, ho like hover, like, in, like, a, a clearing and watch and then come back in when we see lots of uh, agents appear. Okay. I will describe the thing. It all comes down to your drive at half, and then we'll—I'll give you some description, and then move it along. 
Do you guys have skill plus cards? Mm. This okay. is your big oh. role. This... I have. Where would this be considered a zeppelin? No. 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 I've got a zeppelin plus twenty card. I have a player, player choice full retrieve and nada. Hmm. Okay. Player choice if you're desperate. Yeah, you but it's a hard card. roll he's trying to make here. <clears throat> Don't want to throw up on my computer. Fuck you. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> yeah. Right. You barely had time to say dinosaurs, dinosaurs. And you know, you're on the phone. And then you guys were and you got pterodactyls chasing rah, rah, and with that roll, he's going to and it shows like the, the flying car going pterodactyl laser, pew, 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 pew. And then you go and he cruises over and he does a big loop and then and then the pterodactyls are like way the fuck back. And he's driving like a fucking fiend. And then you guys go over, give me a camouflage conceal to try to get the right amount of foliage in front of you there, Chris, so that you can see them. They can't see you so well as you're kind of hovering behind like big bushy trees and shit. I have. It is the most underwhelming thing you've ever seen because after another 10 minutes or so, you see two black dinosaurs. They're, they're kind of like little feet and little legs, kind of like a tauntaun, but black, no fur. They come out and they get blown up almost immediately by the other dinosaurs because everybody's already fucking rah, and they just get blown up. And then you wait a few more minutes. And then four black tauntaun looking things come out. And they get fucking wasted. And then you guys get bored. Cut two. A hundred black tontons because they keep doubling every time. So two, four, eight, etc., etc., etc. So there's been numerous waves, and now the the bad guys have gotten entrenched and shit because the agents keep coming out of the same jungle area, which is the one you guys came from. And you're kind of hovering over, waiting and thing, and it, the battle is getting bigger and bigger, and there's like lasers and stuff, and you see agents getting literally ripped apart and then shooting these other guys, and they seem to be using like a uh, 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 pistols and stuff like that so it's very much one side and eventually the last agent falls and then a few minutes pass and then 200 and some agents emerge from the fucking jungle and now the battle is more there, there's all kinds of these fucking dinosaurs dead and dying and stuff they appear to just be mounts they're not attacking independently and stuff and so they're running around crazy and stuff and they have that same symbol on the saddle packs and stuff and eventually now they're starting to push and then you see a large contingent of like it looks like a, a large contingent of dinosaurs they have like all kinds of cyberware and stuff along with some four-armed guy and a whole bunch of guards are now making their way over toward the big circle thing you guys have already anticipated this and you're in the right place it's a big fucking group lots of dinosaurs and shit and the four-armed guys like ah, 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 bitching and stuff like that it looks like they're taking probably 50 or 100 dinosaurs and about the same number of troops and this forearm guy slowly over toward the big circle. They're not going super fast because they're working on keeping the dinosaurs that they've got with them and there's various kinds of dinosaurs and it's, so they're not going super fast. What, what, sort of what, what sort of distance is it? How do you mean? As in from the compound to the big gate is oh, it's it about a kilometer. A kilometer, a kilometer. A kilometer. All right. Just, yeah. just to give a rough idea of how much time we might have. Yeah. Now, we've got the grenades. Did you, you want to quickly go in and set up some booby traps with your demolition skill? You don't or... think you're going to have time for booby traps, plus it's pretty but much... I do have time to rip some barrel cards. Can we can we drop the sure. disintegration grenades on them? You totally could. Uh, yeah, there are thinking. some pterodactyls Maybe. flying around stuff that may give you some trouble, but most of the people are actually battling the agents now. Mm. This is like that that's the holding force. I kind of figured what we would do is throw like throw the grenades from cover. Um, unfortunately, you're way too far away. Like there's they got rid of all the cover. For like a kilometer they got a, and everything. They've got a killing. They got a killing. I just kill. dropped them on his ass. Yeah, uh, yeah. All you gotta do is get basically close to him, and he's fucked. Yeah. Okay. May I suggest we save one or two grenades to fuck with the gate? Uh huh. 
just in case. <laughs> because I don't uh, want to drop grenades and find he survives it because, oh, look, he manages to dodge out the way. He manages to dodge out the day. You keep missing. You keep missing. Let's blow up the gate because he's not going to be able to stop that. All right. So you and guys... Uh, stuck in, get him stuck here. Uh, you guys begin your bombing run. I know what Chris is going to be doing. He's going to be well, driving. Wait, we have time. Like, well, we will still have time. Like, do I have time to rip up some cards or no? Uh, you can try one if you'd like. I mean, you'd have time for more, but after the first one, you'll probably be done. Okay. Um, I'll rip the star. All right. Give me a willpower times one roll. Holy shit. I won. Hi, welcome to the land of the... Let me double check. This was um, will buy three previously for us. Hold on, let me double check. Dino World. Mm. Yeah, we'll buy three magic. Hold on. Got noted down. Oh, no, it is times three. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, well. Cool. You tear that card in half and you can almost see Pete crying. <laughs> um. No. That's a not known one. Yep. Well, all of them are non. All of them are unknown. This is our first step. I'll spend a pause. Oh. Well, that we way we know did. for the future what they do. Yeah, exactly. That that's the whole purpose oh. of us going through them. Was got it. Hang on a second. Oh, I, oh. I was going to say I might have. Right. In that case, it's not an unknown. It does. If you want to tear anything, Corey? Let me know. Uh, hold on a second. And he it's the star that will be second and third ah. decks. Ah, uh, star, right? Uh -huh. Yes. I see stars, not birds. Hmm. The star. Uh. Wow. Okay, this is a, a one and done effect. Uh, Chris, roll a d twenty. Higher is better for you. Ten. Gain 10 sanity, unless that puts you past 99, in which case just gain enough to get you 99. Wow. So gain, D, gain D20 sen, is it? Yep. All right. Well, up yeah, to yeah, yeah. max. <sighs> oh, yeah. Imagine Yana with that card. Mm -hmm. She'd be so happy, and then she'd roll one, and then she would be bitter. Great. No effect. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Are you sure these cards are good? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Harsh. Um, yeah. You want to carry it? Else? it. I mean, it doesn't no. take a long to rip a card in half. And you don't want to do it while inside the vehicle. We had one card blow a, blow a wall apart that we're in the building we're in. We had to evacuate quickly. Mm -hmm. That As would the really clap around us. Now. Yes. Okay. So you're done. You're done with the tarot cards, and you decide to go into dramatic combat instead. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's super. All right. So dramatic combat round one. Uh, this will be the round of uh, actually not much happening. So I'm not even going to flip the card. Chris begins making his run toward the group, and the group. Uh, let's let's give him a really good chance of noticing a big flying car. They haven't fucking noticed you yet for some reason. They're all focused on the goddamn... I, I gave them an 80% chance. They fucked it up. They're all focused coming on... We're coming out of the sun. Apparently so. Right. Uh, it shows Chris dressed up in a World War One fighter outfit. Yeah! And <laughs> right. so the next round, uh, you guys are going to be... Uh, are you doing strafing runs on them, or are you just going to hover over them, or what? Um, I'll, like, we'll... We'll do hover because strafing runs like that would be like a negative at throw grenade. No problem. Negative. Just like, make it easy on them. Uh, right. You go and hover over them. Uh, from the other two guys who are not busy driving, uh, you stick your finger in the thing and I'll flip a card as you're getting ready to make throws. Bad guys, for some fucking reason, haven't. Oh my God, this is funny. Villains are first, heroes are second. Heroes have a chance of dropping things if they take. <laughs> Damn it, went to grenade now. Oh, hang on, I've right. lost a grenade. <laughs> I can see all you fuckers jumping out of the goddamn car. It's like, I'll take the 40 meter fall. Fuck it. Uh, right. Any action is approved. So, from you, or Chris, if you want to make a drive, you're not required to, but if you want to, to get a card, you can. If you fail it, then bad shit happens from you other two. 
give me throwing rolls. A fumble means that the grenade is loose in the car. Well, can I can I park it here for a second? Because these are used to hovering. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want, but I I thought you'd want to keep hold of the controls and stuff, and get ready to go because there are pterodactyls that are going to be going with this group. They just haven't. They're actually kind of doing the awkward bird walk thing, but they are here. Well, I figure I can at least get this one in, like this one throw, because sure. we're kind of like surprising them. Yes. Yeah, for some fucking reason, nobody looks out. Do we get any that. bonus because we have surprise? Uh, yes, you get a plus 30 bonus, uh, actually, due to surprise. But that doesn't stop, or that doesn't help Dr. Stephen Yang. It just goes, <laughs> just puts it out the window. He doesn't look or anything like, yeah, it's gone now. By 30. Okay. I'm going to spend one hero point just God for this surprise round. Going. I'm assuming you're just going for there the go, crit. Crit. Well, no problem. Uh, it shows. It shows like yours lands close enough, Chris. It shows McKay's go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> and, let's, and, oh! and let's see. He is going to attempt. Uh, actually, next round. Because that was your surprise round. Ah. Come on, heroes are first. Wow. Okay, you, you, those who made their throw get a card. And then I am counting this for the, the thing. Setting off an explosive is approved. So <laughs> everybody who threw a grenade last round, whether you hit or not, gets a card this round. The villain is first. He is going to be attempting a dodge at a big negative to get out of the thing. So he's going for about a 40 or less because, wow, this sucks ass for him. And, but he does have hero points. So let's see if he has to spend them. One hero point gets spent. He barely gets out of the radius. A bunch of shit disappears, including a lot of half dinosaurs who are now all screaming and shit. Uh, does his dinosaur then gone? Or like is he now on the ground? Mm. Oh, uh, no good. Oh, he He's running around on the ground. He just jumped off and ran. Oh, okay. Uh, he didn't want to spend time with his... Uh, Jesus, poor Corey. Um, no problem. See, that's what happens when you don't play enough uh, anytime, anywhere. You get ill. So, no problem. He, he's pretty much right, and he's now doing the... or Actually, next round will be doing the yelling. But first, you guys get to go. Setting off explosives is approved. Yours are going... <laughs> The dinosaurs freak the fuck out. Uh, the pterodactyls take off into the air. That's their whole round is get airborne. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? Um, so yeah, I'll he, throw he, another he, grenade at him before I decide to simple act, and then I will fly next round. All right. Ballsy. I like it. Go for it. Uh, Dr. Stephen Yang covers his face and goes, I feel ill. I got it. Cool. Uh, no problem. You're lobbing grenades at this poor guy. He's going, <laughs> and people that are trying to run with him, some of them, <laughs> uh, he's making a dodge roll this round. Uh, yes, unfortunately, the guy's the best thrower. Ha ha! He says, he's going, doo, 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 doo. and she shows big things of ground disappearing and thunderclaps of air rushing back in. He's like, <laughs> do these cause uh, sand loss too, or no? No, no. Okay. Uh, so, uh, he's, believe me, he's... he's I will spend a hero point on that one. McKay goes, eh, and then the grenade falls, and, so, and it rolls under the seat. And I his foul. Okay, cool. Uh, he throws it really badly. I'm sure it still probably kills something under you. There's complete chaos. All the ground dinosaurs are pretty much doing shit. The pterodactyls have taken off and are flying up here, and we go into next round. Let's see. Uh, villains are first. Heroes. Uh, magic item stops working for this scene. So, yeah, great. You're using cat. Destroying <laughs> magic item is approved. So, if you want to tear a tarot card, then you get a card for that. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. The pterodactyls uh, come up. They ha they haven't reached this, but they are going to try uh, firing their lasers at you. Do you, did the ter do they have control of their pterodactyls? Because you said all the dinosaurs were panicking. I actually let me check on the pterodactyl thing. I will roll uh, 
there's like half a dozen pterodactyls. I'll roll three different groups for morale to see how they're doing. Lower is better. That group is not good. That group is okay. That group, eh, they're negatives. So the group that's okay attempts firing at you. Pew, pew. I'll drop <laughs> the group that is kind of so so. At least they didn't fucking fumble. They didn't hit, but okay, the fumble of the one group that was like, we're okay. They can only defend next round. Cool. Uh, they they can't even fly right. They're going Rah! they're ineffectually flying. So and right. just to make it more interesting, oh cruel fate. Bad guy of GM's choice gets four cards. Wow. You really know how to fucking uh, up yeah. the air here. Yep. Two, three, and four. Let's see if he gets anything good. Guess which bad guy it is. Hey. Uh, that's not going <laughs> to help him. Gambling addiction, not going to help him. Ooh, what's on top? What's on top of the deck? I'll play immediately with Jim the gets four cards nah he's okay and right uh so he's got something else he wants to do all right and let's see chris now it's your big uh well actually you don't really need to do anything yet the pterodactyls the pterodactyls will attempt to shoot you next round there seem to be having problems right now are we in we're in a clearing we're in a clear area aren't we big clear area huge clear area probably a couple of <laughs> I'm giving him a fucking card for just brutal shit. There you go. All right, Chris, it's your driving roll. He's going to be attempting to. Oh. Uh, all right, no problem. I spent a pause. What? I spent a pause. He counters. Okay. God damn it. Right, you nice. drain another. <laughs> that's that's two gone from him, I believe. Yep. Um, I'm going to. Play dissemination because I have crap. I know how many he's got until he gets the big black plot dildo, and that will be his whole happy day. To other people, he, he's directing uh, his force. Give that to. Jordan. He points with three of his glory because he's down a card, and yeah, have a pilot zeppelin bad guy. <laughs> You're giving the bad guy a pilot zeppelin. He yeah. discards. He discards. Yeah, it's Jimmy Woodford. Okay. Hang on a second. No. I'll put the card I give to Corey over there. A dissemination. Get the four cards. Oh, dissemination. He limited. The bad guy limited retrieves dissemination. Yeah. Where'd you place the dissemination there? Let me find On, top. on the F of Fumble. Mm, yeah. Sorry, guys. I got here right here for a second. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I just got real sick. Or, I don't know, it just came over me. It probably being the bad guys and all these dinosaurs, that I know it does it for me. <laughs> Corey's like, you fuck off, Logan. Right, no problem. So, uh, right now, Chris is, uh, he, he did a drive-by to try to run the bad guy over. Are you wanting to do anything while this is happening? Bad guy's dodging out of the way, Corey. I have another grenade I could throw. Do you want to? I would like to, I think. Go for it. Give me a roll. This could fuck him up because he's already dodged once, so he'd be dodging again and negative, but he is pretty fucking fast and muscular and unhappy, and he has cards and hero points, and you're shit at throwing. So, no problem. You lob one out there. Even with a grenade, that's not close enough. You're like, eh. <laughs> but you are trying real hard. So, your other grenade is gone now, and he goes, boom, and he's like, eh, eh. So, uh, right. Meanwhile, we go to, I believe, next round. Mm -hmm. Save last grenade. Okay. Good three words. And no one's at first. Heroes, all your stun damage, if you have any, is healed. I don't think anybody does. Short dramatic speeches are approved if you do that instead of anything useful. And the bad guy for his, he 
Wow, he's just running and dodging, but his people are shooting at you. Uh, we're going for the pterodactyls now. Are we uh, dodging? All right, no problem. Uh, group one. No. Group two. No. Group three. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. Roll that dodge in your car. Roll dodge using flying, Chris. Mm -hmm. Fly car. If you fumble, you go, vroom. <laughs> he's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And everybody's like holding on their grenades, like, ah, stop that. And he's like, hey, 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 hey. no problem. Um, yes, the bad guy is super disappointed. He's sprinting toward the circle thing. You've got lots of rounds before you can get there. Just FYI. You could probably go there do stuff, come back, and he still wouldn't, and they'd be like halfway there, because you guys pretty much figured out his plan before he got to implement it, which pisses him off. So, um, that's it for the bad guys. The land animals, they have nothing they can do. They're just roaming around. Pieces of dinosaur, like the halves of dinosaur, are still falling to the ground and shit. It is disgusting and horrifying. Heroes are amazingly first. Nothing is approved. Heroes have a small chance of getting knocked down if they take damage. Don't recommend getting shot in the car. So, uh, uh, Chris, do you want to just hold your action to see if you need to dodge or anything, or you're just flying erratically and kind of generally chasing the bad guy? Um. <clears throat> or do you want to try to run him over? God damn! All right, go for it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Yeah. My yeah. Quarter. God damn. The bad guy attempts his dodge. It's not super high, but it's boom, boom. <laughs> right, Chris. Um, Put the windscreen wipers there. on. What's that? Put the windscreen wipers on. Wipe that dog <laughs> off the screen. Um, right. Hold on. The bad guy is going to play his dissemination card. Keeping one of his cards. Uh, Dissemination is now on top. If anybody has something to grab that back, he needs something to get rid of this. He needs a, his opponent fail so he doesn't take all this fucking damage. Deal three cards to. Okay. Yes, they put the bad guy into card play, Corey. They decided they needed more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the bad guy. Wasn't fun enough to have him pause rated. We also needed him to be in card play. The bad guy plays a reroll on his dodging. Come on, fumble. <sighs> Come on, that. fumble. It's already bad enough as it is. Nope, he made it that time. Ha ha! He said, <laughs> he lifts all four arms in triumph. And he looks a lot like Garku or whatever off Mortal Kombat, but he has more fingers. So, uh, right, he manages to throw himself aside. Uh, we now go to uh, you two. You haven't gone yet. Corey, are you doing anything? No. I think I'm going to hold for now. Pete? No, I'm holding. But I'm putting I'm do, putting my seatbelt on for the moment just in case we do... I'm assuming your seatbelt was on before yeah, you yeah, started Yeah, I was, just, it. Yeah, I was just specifying just to make sure there's no okay. doubt or confusion. Okay. Great. With the way he drives when, when he's in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would, it's pretty standard when we hop into a flying vehicle to wear a seatbelt, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, go now to, uh, let's see, that's, I already did pterodactyls this round, yeah? Yep. Next round. Villains are first, get a total heal. Heroes are second. Heroes get a total heal. Yelling, I have the power, is approved. So, uh, villains are first, and um, pterodactyls, go. Chris, are you dodging around? Yep. Well, it a couple doesn't... Fumbles there. Be, yes, the third group of pterodactyls, did you make your dodge? Obviously, throwing anything would be at a bit of a negative this round as he's flying around like he's doing the Kessel run. Yep. Yeah, he's fine. All right, and let me draw some fumbles for group one and two. Group one says, one of the pterodactyls vomits. Other than this horrible embarrassment, nothing happens. <coughs> one of the pterodactyls vomits and shit, and it splashes around on the air. Uh, the other one, uh, the other pterodactyl um, 
if you guys attack the other pterodactyl group, there's like two pterodactyls in each group, uh, you get a bump of two damages against them. Mm. <clears throat> so, we now go to... Hang on a second. Oh, wow. We haven't done the heroes yet. So, uh, what was the uh, approved uh, action? Sorry? What? what was the approved action? Uh, yelling, I have the power. Oh, the bad guy's going to try to jump onto a dinosaur so he can get. He's running after a dinosaur making jumping motions. I have the power. <laughs> Take a card. Corey, what do you do? Um, <clears throat> I. You're going in the car, which is why you're feeling I, I also yell, I have the power. Take a card. No problem. Yes. Corey, Corey's doing a great job of role playing his character who's also feeling sick. So <laughs> we now go to next round. Good role play. And the one's the first navigating is approved. Um, he wants to try to get on that fucking dinosaur. Yeah, he leaps on the back of one of these sprinter dinosaurs and he looks at you and two of his hands are holding on the rein. One of them flips you off. The other one <clears throat> reaching in and pulling out some sort of weird pistol thing. Um, his dinosaur sprints well. You can catch it in a fucking flying car. They weren't really expecting that kind of shit here. So, uh, Nothing is approved this round. Hero's turn. Uh, Pete, anything? No. Corey. I'm saving my grenade for the gate. Mm -hmm. Corey? Uh, can I pull my pistol? Sure. You take out your pistol. You don't want to try it. Quick draw and accidentally shoot Chris while I, he's done. I will just draw it. You slowly and carefully pull out your pistol. Chris, what do you do? I am going to try to gain on bad guy so you really don't need to try very hard you just push a little harder on the pedal you could probably try to run him over again if you wanted but that would mean foregoing you're dodging the pterodactyl attack no i want to head towards the gate while i'm dodging all right no problem pterodactyls go pew, 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 pew. one of them managed to hit you give me a dodge roll as you're going to do, 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 do. i fail no problem. Uh, your car has like, uh, uh, we'll say 20 hit points, but these things do a lot compared to, oh, okay, you got 16 hit points in your car. Okay. Cool. Uh, this thing is not nearly resistant as the giant flying Zardos head. So we now go to next round. Makes me miss my van. <laughs> <laughs> well, no the armor hurt. plating, yeah. Armor you plating, and I think it had a weapon on it too. You guys healed up all your damage. You heard that, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the ones are first. Any action you have to roll for, uh, the pterodactyls are pretty much uh, now just shooting at you. There's no way they can catch up to you, so they're just shooting at you. All right. I'll be Later. simple actioning toward the gate. Dodge. Yep. Yep. Wow. The lasers are tearing you up. You need to make three dodge rolls. So first to full, next to negative 30, next to negative 60. Question. Uh-huh. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna I was gonna ask because they're projectiles if but I already know. Like, hold on. Let me read something right quick. Do them. Uh right. Assuming you guys survive. I'm not assuming. Uh Pete, what are you up to? Sorry, what was the approved action? Nothing. And nothing. I'm just watch, keeping an eye out, seeing. I'm keeping an eye out on the off chance agents are heading our way, flying oh, agents right. heading our way. Any actions preferred? Spot hidden, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm spot hitting. I'm looking to make spot oh. hitting to see if there's anything of interest around. Corey, where are you up to? Any action is approved. I'd like to try and shoot the sprinter dinosaur in the leg or something. Nice. Okay, you're going to be at half chance with your pistol. Uh, partially due to dodging, partially due to range. Sure. Okay. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, and actually, you'd be at a quarter for a called shot leg. So it's a one in a million. Oh, yeah. well, you make noise with your gun. You feel better. The dinosaur does not know where the bullet went. 
So no problem. You you're leaning out the car window. Pew, pew, pew. So uh, meanwhile, we go over to Chris. How are them dodges going? Three dodges as they all fucking scored on you. Uh, 